As I'm showing you a building of a Mark, one of Marquette Universities, I'm here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. As I prepare for my trip, possibly to Dallas, Texas, to visit T.D. Jakes Church and hopefully Joe Osteen. But our topic today, I like to talk about the selfishness of people amazes me. Before today, I tried a few people out and just see what they would do after I have given them all that they wanted. I was just wondering if they could just give me a crumb or something. Can I get a, 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 a crumb? I know if you run across these type of people that no matter what you do, you can give them the world. They won't give you a crumb. You better not ask for a, a, a dollar or two. Uh, uh, can I get a dollar or something for a battery or two batteries or something? Uh, uh, anything, whatever your need might be. Today's topic is selfishness of people. Those were just a few examples. In your life, if you ran across selfishness of people that you gave your life to, your world to, and they just, just, just automatically just don't give you nothing. You need to walk away from those type of people, have nothing to do with those type of people anymore. Don't live 49 and 50 years like me, yours truly, and begin to learn this lesson. If people are not being straight up with you as you and gave them the world, and they, and they just refuse to give you even a crumb, as we always say, fell from the rich man's table. Have nothing to do with them. Don't, don't continue to live your life with those hurts and pains that you're always doing for people and you're wondering why they don't do for you. Don't continue in that way. Change your forecast. Learn. Don't we can't stay brainwashed and, and to religions believe to say no continue, continue, continue doing for people that's hurting you. That is the wrong teaching and the wrong religion and the wrong believing is the wrong way to survive in the times that we are living in. This is nine one one countdown to a new world order, one world government, the things that man has in plan, which is God's prophecy. So we are living in perilous times. And we need to know these are perilous times, so therefore we need to stay in survival. You have to stay in a survival mode in order to survive. If not, you will perish. Yeah, you will not be here no more. D-O-A. Okay. But today's lesson is the selfishness of people. You have to know and recognize and get away from before they hurt you beyond recognition. You can't keep getting hurt from the selfishness of people. You have to find new people, new way of walking, new way of talking, and a new direction in your life. There's people here that's networking, that's doing well as we flip magazines and flip our channels and look at smiles on different places and different faces and different people in different places. We know that it's not just a selfish world, but we, we're living in a world of clicks. Clicks, clicks, clicks. If you're not in the click, you're not in. So we have to get over the clicks. We got to be with the clicks. We got to be with the clicks. Or get with somebody that you can network with that's going to click with you and help you meet your goals, your admirations, your desires, your needs and wants. You don't have to continue to live your life full of hate, full of all these angry desires you have in them that the people have put in you because those people have hated you, whether it's your mama, daddy, sister, brother, bishop, whoever. Have, they're not giving you hands-on help. You got to move around and find people to give you hands-on help. This is your boy, Miracle Obama, the final and last shout-out here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We're going to move on. Our time have expired here. We did what we can to try to bring change, but people, as we know, will be people. Some changed, some didn't. I'm very disappointed in the people that I have invested in, time, money, uh, advice, and all that, and they still just rubbish. They didn't change, they didn't change. And I don't have any more time for that because I have to deal with minds that's greater than minds. People are networking and doing great things, as we well know. Those are the people that we need to get with. That's the lesson that you need to get with people that's trying to help you, benefit you. There's greater minds than those that's around you that's hurting you. That is the number one lesson today. Get with greater minds.
than the same minds that you've been around so you can grow in progress so you won't see death and destruction being around the same people so stay focused stay focused meet your goals your desires and dreams let them come true for you before you any bad happen to you in any kind of way this is your boy miracle obama out do what you got to do to survive it's on you survive out your boy sir